Thank you Storyblocks for being the sponsor of this video. Okay, so there is a lot of hype surrounding the MacBook Air, in fact so much that everyone just screams M1, 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 and I'm here to tell you that the hype is real. M1 is not a CPU. Basically, it is a package containing the computer's 8-core CPU, 7-8 to eight cores of GPU, and to simplify everything, a unified memory system that upgrades up to 16GB, which means the CPU and the GPU can directly share memory and compute tasks a lot faster. And ultimately, this is how Apple allowed themselves to build the ultimate laptop. At its core, the laptop has a fingerprint sensor, a 720p camera improved by the image signal processor in the M1, no touch bar, two USB-C ports, a headphone jack, and a great hinge design, which by the way delivers the always on feature. Ah, uh, <laughs> satisfying. This Retina display is made of 2560 by 1600 pixels with True Tone technology and 400 nits of brightness, leaving us with 100 nits less than the MacBook Pro. I do wish the bezels on this one were thinner, but I'm guessing that could come on their potential 14 inch model. And I know a lot of us hated the butterfly keyboards with reason, but Apple have listened. The new Magic Keyboard is <laughs> magic. After writing thousands of lines of code, I can confidently say this is one of the best laptop keyboards out there. And even though the backlit for the keyboard is now in the settings and not on the top part itself, I truly enjoy the luminosity it delivers when typing in dark places. Below of it all, you will find Apple's trackpad, and this thing is fantastic. It delivers great haptic feedback, force touch functionality, and awesome multi-touch gestures such as displaying the launchpad, show your desktop, and even navigate through full screen apps. Beside the keyboard, you will find these top firing stereo speakers, and for the longest time, I've been a major fan of Apple's laptop speakers because they just sound... Yes, amazing. And even though since 2016 we have seen the same design over and over again, it's hard to neglect that even in 2021, these still look good. The outer shell is made out of a nice aluminum that is durable with the same old rubber feet at the bottom of the laptop. And as much as this laptop looks extremely prestige and is weightless at 2.7 pounds, I recommend carrying it with a case, slap a skin on it and keep keys, bracelets and watches away from it because it does scratch really easily yeah the performance the m1 delivers is absolutely amazing do keep in mind we are talking about having one less GPU core with the M1 Air compared to the M1 Pro, but it doesn't seem to be slowing things down. In fact, when I developed an app two weeks ago, this thing performed extremely well. Having a multitude of apps open such as Spotify, Chrome, Safari, Xcode, and VS Code for example was no problem in terms of temperature and performance, but the research did not end there because I decided to spend these last two weeks doing other types of work. 
Editing on Premiere Pro which still runs on Rosetta was quite decent. I was able to put together a small cinematic sequence with it and to my surprise it did well. Importing my 4K footage from my Sony Alpha 7 Mark III was effortless and scrolling through the timeline as well as playback was very impressive but you could tell the device was getting hot during exporting times. In fact at this point it was starting to slow down and thermal throttle but since Premiere Pro is horribly optimized on any computer this was to be expected and this is where Final Cut Pro comes in and simply just kicks ass. Video editing on Final Cut Pro is painless. On a 4K timeline, there's simply no hiccups. Scrubbing through the timeline was a better experience than Premiere Pro on my $3,000 computer, and the playback was simply instant. I even did a stabilization test, and there was absolutely no issues with it. And with the help of Storyblocks, well, you can be taking your Final Cut experience to a whole new level. Storyblocks is an all-in-one platform that gives you access to unlimited stock downloads and flexible licensing. With their unlimited all access plan, you can download high resolution videos, stock music, sound effects, drop them on the timeline and save time during your production. One of my favorite assets to use within my videos are their overlays. You can simply download them, drop them on Final Cut and create awesome compositions like the one I have in the introduction of this video. Don't forget that if you're ever in need of images, they deliver great photos, illustrations, and vectors for you to use with an illustrator. So do yourselves a favor and head to storyblocks.com slash Vidoza to check out their plans and allow your final cut edits to be immaculate. Thank you so much Storyblocks for sponsoring our videos, I am personally oversatisfied with your services and if you decide to subscribe to them and use their high quality assets, make sure you opt for a 16GB model if you're looking to create any sort of content with the MacBook Air. And with that in mind, I do want to show you guys Lightroom and Photoshop in real time. So I went to my local Lamborghini dealership, took a few pictures and imported them in. Now that I have imported all the three pictures into Lightroom, I'm simply going to pick the Eurus picture and start tweaking a few things with Photoshop and Lightroom. I know some of the things I'm about to do, they do take a toll on my custom PC. So I want to see how the M1 performs with these native apps. So first of all, let's tweak the exposure. Maybe diminish that a bit, add some contrast down the highlight. I want to see that yellow shadows. I want to see the details right here. Very snappy up to now. We're at 46% and please do note that a bunch of videos are currently running in the background on Chrome on top of that. So the temperature is not bad at all considering that we don't have a fan on this laptop. Let's go ahead and play with the S curve. There you go. I think we have a bit too much highlight. This is not a Photoshop and Lightroom course, so my job is going to be terrible. I just want to show you the performance. Not bad. There you go. Kill some of that vibrance like that. I think that's enough. And we can go ahead and grab the yellow with the color mixer and bring it up. There you go. Brush tool. I know the brush tool is a pain on my custom PC sometimes. Very nice very 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 nice 2000 years later exposure down just a bit let's call it a day with that maybe maybe even add a filter right here something like this there we can say that's that's not bad not too bad maybe i can even go target the blue here something like that that looks doesn't look too bad i think that's good and edit in Photoshop. Let's see how long it takes. 47 degrees we're running right now. And I do have Final Cut open. I forgot about that. There you go. Opening in Photoshop. Last time you opened for all right. Yeah, sure. Reopen. Okay, that was pretty quick, actually. Let's copy this layer. Zoom. Very fast. I like that. We can use this tool right here. Spot healing. You can remove some pieces of dirt that the car has. No problem, I can even zoom in so close. It renders very quick, which is very impressive. Sometimes on my computer, it takes just a bit of time, but this is very snappy. I really like the native support on this computer. Nice. I even sometimes just for the heck of it, let's grab the brush tool. The opacity is set well. Like you even brush all these accents to make them pop. I'll show you guys quickly. Add some here. 
I'm not doing anything complicated, but I'm doing stuff that I know take a toll on the performance on my computer. Small stuff, not too bad. You guys can see the accents of the car, but it's not bad. Very nice. We can even go on Lightroom and you can see the difference right here. Now, for school work or general computing, it is a bang for your buck. The M1 has optimized plenty of apps for students and productivity people. We are talking about Microsoft 365, Zoom, Todoist, Chrome, Notion, Messenger, Among Us. Nice. Yes, the M1 is capable of downloading iOS and iPadOS apps because they run on a very similar architecture. Oh, and yes, the battery. I am currently in my ninth cycle on this machine and I have used it a lot these past couple of weeks. While I was filming these sequences and doing some of the live demos within this video, the computer still managed to deliver a total of 14 hours in terms of battery life. It is extremely impressive for a computer that has all kinds of apps open, a live recording session, with a whole microphone setup plugged to it. Most of the days I worked with it, I was seeing ridiculous hours such as 16 hours for a single charge. And even though the MacBook Pro M1 delivers an extra 2 hours of battery life, if you have a budget, you won't regret getting the Air at all. You also shouldn't be so caught up about its fanless feature, mainly because it is not a computer you should be buying for apps such as Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, and CAD programs. These apps will push the computer to thermal throttle as they are heavy and will most likely push you to get something like the MacBook Pro 16 inch. But honestly, I never saw temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius, which was extremely impressive considering I was running servers on the back end, a whole iOS app on Xcode, and I even had a multitude of programs opened on it. Even the M1 versions of Photoshop and Lightroom did not see temperatures above 45 degrees, which is just extremely impressive. And so I decided to finish this video with the MacBook's Air microphone, but honestly, should you buy the M1 MacBook Air, do yourselves a favor, make a list of the apps you'll use for the next few years and make sure they are either optimized for the M1 or the companies currently working on it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you want to check out the M1 MacBook Pro review, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Let me know if you made it till the end with a comment, hashtag people of the internet. I will see you all soon. Take care.